February is American Heart Month, and all month long we're talking about cardiovascular health. This morning we're focusing on aortic aneurysms. Joining me now is Dr. Habib Jabaji from the Valley Hospital. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, I do have to just get started and ask you, what is an aortic aneurysm? So, a great question. So an um, uh, aortic aneurysm is essentially an abnormal enlargement of the aorta, which is the largest or main blood vessel in our body that brings blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. So it, much like in uh, a balloon, um, the aorta contains elastic tissue. And as that elastic tissue weakens over time, or for other reasons, um, you can get a bulging or uh, uh, out, out pouching of the uh, aorta. Okay. Yeah. And what are the symptoms of it? How, how would someone know that that was something that they were dealing with? Uh, yeah, so these, uh, unfortunately, aortic aneurysms are largely asymptomatic. So these are, are usually found on uh, routine imaging testing done for other reasons, um, and they're called incidental findings in the medical community. In a small percentage of patients, though, if an aneurysm gets large enough, you can develop some symptoms, and these are usually chest pain or shortness of breath. Um, however, this is rare, um, and again, these are, are largely asymptomatic conditions. Unfortunately, um, if uh, a patient is... Uh, unfortunate enough to uh, suffer a rupture or a dissection, these end up having very bad um, symptoms such as chest pain, uh, patients can lose uh, consciousness, um, lose function in their arms or legs, as well as uh, lose sensation in, in those same limbs as well. I want to just ask you one thing. You mentioned that sometimes it shows up when people are having sort of other tests done. What are yeah. the other things or the ways that it would show up on other tests? Yeah, so it's, it's usually when people get uh, an ultrasound of their heart, which is called an echocardiogram, or they're getting a CT scan scan, um, looking at their lungs, um, or even MRI scans, and we kind of catch the aorta in some, some in images um, or portions of the test, and then it triggers uh, a further investigation. Okay. Is that the part where they ask you to tilt your head up so they can go here? Just had an ultrasound. For the ultrasound? Yeah. yeah. The heart? Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Figured that out. Okay. So first of all, so who is most at risk? Yeah. Um, there's, a, a, you know, anybody can develop an aneurysm at any age. Um, there are risk factors that are associated with development or pacing a patient at an increase of developing an aneurysm or suffering one of these, these complications, which are often lethal. Some of the most commonly associated uh, risk factors are, are including uh, high blood pressure, so poorly controlled uh, hypertension, um, genetic factors, a family history of, uh, of, of aneurysms, high cholesterol, um, as well as connective tissue uh, disorders. How is it treated, most importantly? Once you, if you catch it, if you're lucky enough to catch it, how do you treat it? Yeah, so the, these conditions are usually treated medically up front. Um, we surveil, uh, surveil them with imaging um, and we aggressively go after the risk factors that lead to these conditions, so tight blood pressure control. We also tell patients that uh, um, there's some lifestyle changes such as avoidance of extreme exercise, um, smoking cessation, and then you can, sometimes most patients can typically be expected to be placed on a, a new medication for blood pressure control and uh, other medications that might uh, address some of their cardiovascular risk factors. This will eventually lead to uh, surgery um, if needed uh, later at a later time point. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. It's good information, yeah. and we're trying to bring people good information all month long. Uh, thank you, doctor, for coming in. And of course, for more information on heart health, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. And coming up tomorrow, I just want to point out, Cindy and I were curious about our heart health. So we got tested earlier this week, which is why I knew about tilting my head up for the <laughs> ultrasound. We were both kind of nervous, I have to admit, but we found the process really easy. So we are excited to take people on our journey, kind of show you how that worked. And you can see the story tomorrow morning right here on CBS. CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. and we'll be right back.